hello and welcome in this tutorial we're going to be looking at this little temperature sensor and getting a temperature reading in celsius now the sensor looks just like a standard transistor but it's called lm35 and if i point the flat face towards you what you're going to be seeing is um the power pin, the 5V pin, is going to be on your left when you're looking at the flat face, and the GND is going to be on the right. The middle pin right here, well, that is a signal, an analog signal that you can read. So you're going to get a value, just an analog reading, and to convert that to Celsius, you just need to do nothing other than multiply it by 5 divided by 10.24. So sort of that is your conversion factor for the LM35. Um, so let's get cracking. We're going to um, build this guy. Put the sensor in to the middle of the breadboard. So that pin there is going to be powered. That goes into 5V. And the leftmost one goes into GND. So do I have some get some blue cables? They'll go nicer. And there we go. Now the middle leg plunk goes into a zero so back into our program da, 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 arduino there we go so what we need to do is just essentially take an analog reading have it displayed i'm going to touch the sensor to see if it gets any warmer and we are then going to try to have that multiplication factor so int reading equals to zero and we can pin mode a zero to an input and in the loop we can say reading equals the analog read a zero and serial.print ln reading and every time I write that I realized I have not initialized the serial serial.begin nine six zero zero okay so that ought to do it maybe delay if i don't know 50. we ought to be seeing some analog readings once i upload this good now will it get higher when i touch it Yes, it will. And we've gone across, and now it's 50, 51, 52. So that's great. That definitely works. And now you should see it fall back to 49, 48, and so on. So right now, time to transfer that to degrees. So going back to the DF Robot page, I'll be sure to include the link. By the way, you can just Google it, DF Robot Beginner Kit Wiki. It's tutorial seven. So we are going to, that is the line. I don't like the way they declare the, any variables right inside the line here. So, but essentially you're multiplying by, doo -doo -doo. we want to be multiplying by five over 10.24. So we can have something that's not an integer, maybe use a double, uh, temp equals to zero and then say temp equals to reading times 5 over 10 yeah that could work and then we can serial print the temp just to see that it makes sense And serial.print. Now 
what can we say here? Temperature in C. Let's have a look if this has worked out. Serial print line temp expected. Hmm. So it's, as you can see, it's probably like 21 degrees, 21, 22 here. I'm, I'm wearing a hoodie, not a t-shirt. Yeah, that, that's perfect, 21.4. I mean, we could slow this down now to uh, 200 and we should be able to get rather convenient temperature readings. 21.48. Now, I'm going to put my hand closer and see if it gets to 22 without me touching it. Yeah, gets above 22. I'm gonna breathe on it. Mm, rises a little. The most effective thing to do is actually just touch it. Your skin's probably in like 27, 28 degrees. The core of your body is at 36. But yeah, 24, 25. There you have it. A really easy to build, well working temperature sensor that costs few cents. Okay, so see you in the next tutorial and note that in the future, we are going to be logging some of this data and trying to do some investigations with it. But perhaps for now, you can also have a look inside the tools and the serial plotter. That's interesting. The serial plotter actually plots whatever you are printing to the serial. So since we are printing two different values, it is plotting a little bit of chaos. But if we simply got rid of that reading, we should be able to see sort of a moving line for the temperature. There you go, 21, and temperature staying somewhere around 21, and if we touch it, we should be able to make it go up to like 24, perhaps. There you go. And now if we let go, we should watch it come down. Just once more, that is in Tools Serial Plotter. Okay, second try at goodbye. See you in the next tutorial.